So I told you I bought some cases. I bought four. Now, I like cases, as you can tell, wallet cases. So, let's get rid of this. Um, put these to the side for a quick second. Um, so, this is the first case I bought. It was a snake hive, and I got it off of Amazon. Um, lower spectrum of the price range. Um, there used to be a soft case in that one like this. But when I got it, it was very loose. So I kind of tested it to see how easy it would be for it to come out. So I kind of just heated this up with a hair dryer and it pulled right off. So um, I haven't used this case just because for that, I mean, it doesn't have a place to hold the case. Um, I mean, as you could see this one, it's not pulling apart. Um, maybe a little bit right there, but this one, I mean, it was, it was real bad. Um, the leather quality is very nice on this. I mean, it looks cool. I mean, it's a cool case. Um, I like the contrast on the inside. Um, let me just show something else real quick. Uh, I could demonstrate it with this card right here. Um, part I didn't like, the, it doesn't sit flush. The cards don't sit flush. It looks like the pockets, um, well, that first pocket isn't cut right. Um, other than that, I mean, the cards sit in there pretty, um, uh, fairly deep, which is nice. So it's less likely to scratch the screen. Um, but I mean, I would, I would still recommend this case, uh, just because it's a very nice looking case. I mean, the leather quality is amazing. Like I said, um, it's just a great case. Uh, what I'm going to try to do, um, is I'm going to try to get another soft case like this. And I'm going to attempt to glue it back in um, that or return it on Amazon and just get another one. Um, to be honest, it's a really nice case. But I will say, when looking for a case, there are qualities that I do look for. Um, I want it, since I do look for wallet-type cases, one of the main things I look for is a detachable case. Now... Uh, when you're talking detachable cases, like where this is detachable by magnet, you start getting like $50 and over. Um, and I wasn't really trying to spend that. Um, so what I ended up doing was buying these two. Um, this one first. And then I bought this one. Now, out of these two cases... Um, this one with the book looks more professional. I mean, honestly, um, this is what I prefer. It looks more manly. I mean, it looks more like more manly and it looks more like something that a guy would carry. Um, this may be, you know, like a younger twenties, mid twenties. Um, this looks more professional, like upper twenties, lower thirties. Um, age range. Uh, I really like this. I really do. Um, this case is probably my second favorite case as of right now. Real close tie with my first one. I mean, the, this has the nicest leather quality, I would say, out of any of my cases. Um, by far. I'm going to leave links in the description, by the way, so don't worry about um, trying to find them. Um, yes, I say this was the nicest quality. Um, it's got a little thing right here. And that's another thing I look for in my wallet-type cases is 
it's really got to have like a clear spot for my ID. So that way I can just kind of show it at a glance if I have to. Um, but the, again, this is some nice deep pockets. That's another thing I tend to look for. Um, got the money as well. Same with this one. This one had the money. Uh, let me show that. Um, but as of right now, I would say this has the nicest le uh, leather quality. Um, I'm not sure how long it would last. I mean, it's already starting to wear right here. You could see it. But other than that, I mean, this, this is a nice case. I do not like the fact that this isn't detachable. If this detached, this would be my number one case, and I wouldn't even consider another case. Um, but since it didn't, I kept looking, and then I got another case. So right now, one or I'm sorry, right, as of right now, this is two, and this is three. This is the order I rank them in, by the way. Let me just do a quick one, two, three, four. Uh, this is Berkeley. I forget the manufacturer. This is Snake Hive, and this is Davis Cases off of Amazon. Um, these three were purchased off of Amazon. This one was purchased just directly from Berkeley Cases. Um, so now let's talk about my least favorite. Um, I'm not a fan of soft cases to begin with. And this Davis case that was fairly expensive, I think like $49, $50, um, came with this case. And I mean, it's flexible. These are open. But they just, so that's another thing I look for is I'll try to find cases that are open. Um, this button works fine, the power button. The up and down with the volume works fine. This is what really killed it for me though right here, uh, the mute switch. If you can see... It's fairly small, and it just doesn't work. You literally have to take it out of the case to mute it or unmute it, and I constantly use that button. I don't know about you guys. Um, so right there, I mean, right off the bat, when I saw this was a soft case, I knew I probably wasn't going to be happy with it. Um, it also had this in there. Uh, I took that out. It's kind of just a, like a, like a stretch type deal. Well, I'll fix that later. But yeah, this just went like that. Um, so this was in there like that, and I guess it would be like a wrist holder for the case. Uh, not really my thing. And kind of seems kind of feminine, to be honest. After I saw that, I really don't like those holes in there when carrying it. Um, other than that, I mean, this case is actually well built. Um, it's got the magnetic closure. And it's got this kind of big closure right here, which I do like. Makes it look, look more masculine, um, especially since I do tend to like the wallet cases. This really helps. Uh, again, it has the the clear, you know, for your license or whatever ID you plan on putting in there. And then, as you can see, I mean, these are all pretty fairly deep. show and they're all cut you know the pockets are all cut very nicely uh, they're all you know the same it's got a deep money pocket um, I mean it's a nice case this leather quality isn't the best I'd probably rank it last in leather quality um, but I do like the contrast kind of stitching that goes around 
Um, I do not like that at all. Like, not even a little bit, those two little holes there. Um, it's a nice, I mean, it's a nice case. I don't know if it's really worth the price, though, that they charge. I probably wouldn't recommend this case. Again, this will be the fourth one in the description by Davis. I probably wouldn't recommend that one. Um, but over Black Friday, I got the Berkeley case. And this one is the antique coffee. And I was expecting it to be darker than what it is. It's not very dark. Um, I probably rank this leather quality, though, in the th third. I would say first, second, and third, and then fourth for leather quality. Um, I do like this outer case, or this this case that goes around the phone. Um, this is hard plastic right here on the back. Hard plastic. This is soft plastic, but I've already checked the mute switch and the buttons. Very tactile. So they, I mean, they, it feels like you're actually clicking a button, um, which is great. Uh, I think this would look better if it had a bigger bigger magnetic closure band um, and I don't like this the silver buck or whatever or buffalo on the front of the case not a fan um, it would have been nice if they just did like a Berkeley here or something you know on the inside um, I mean I just got this case and this is looks like it's already peeling which isn't good I mean literally just got this today um, and then there is some some stuff that sticks up right here you can't really see it on camera um, again it's got the visible little thing for your ID uh, each one kind of is deep uh, it's got the deep money case or money storage. Um, again, I'm a you know I like wallets. I like wallets for my my phone. Um, and it, what I mean is, I really want a case that I want it to be like two separate cases. I mean, technically this is two separate cases, but what I want is like a full protective case and then a really nice case for you know everyday use um, I know that for the iPhone 8 Berkeley has kind of something that would match this like a little it looks like a book and I would much rather pre prefer something like that than this antique coffee and I'm probably gonna call them about this because I mean it's not even it's not even a day old I mean I literally just pulled this I just unboxed this um, so that's pretty disappointing um, what I pay 60 something dollars 69 dollars original cost for that no that's an easy decision no I would not recommend somebody to pay that much for this case I mean, it's a nice case. The inner case is nice, but at the same time, it's just, I don't know. The only reason I, the only reason I like this one and I would consider it number one is just because of this magnetic right here. Just because this is a nice solid case, the buttons feel tactile and this, this detaches, but I mean, it just doesn't seem worth like it's worth the seventy dollars. Um, it doesn't seem very durable. I mean, I literally just just unbox this thing, and this is already tore up. And you, if you could see, hold on, look, it's already peeling up. Kind of disappointing. Um,
this case, it's really hard to beat this case. I really like this case. I get a lot of compliments on this case. Um, has a nice, has very nice leather. I mean, the leather is just superb. Um, if this was detachable, uh, it wouldn't. You couldn't beat this case. It would be, it would be the best case for the iPhone X. Um, that being said, there is one thing that does get frustrating is uh, the volume up and down does not work with the with this soft case in here like not at all um, if that's like a big issue to you uh, you should probably not get that case but other than that if this had a detachable case like this one in it uh, this would be the case to get but since it doesn't and if you really needed a detachable case, I'd try to get this one on sale, but I would not pay the $70 for it. Um, if you have any questions, you know, just leave them in the comments, and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Okay, thanks. Bye.